Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT based multi surveillance application robots using live streaming and metal detection along with obstacle detection. So here we are using ESP32 camera for live streaming along with headlights and laser controlling this is the first feature and the next feature is whenever the obstacle detects when we are moving this robot in forward motion if any obstacle detects automatically the robot will stop its movements based on obstacle detection and third feature is metal detection so if is there any metal detected with this metal sensor we are going to provide the audible alert through this buzzer so these are the main features of this project. So the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt 1 amp rechargeable battery. This battery pack consists of 3 4 volt 1 amp batteries. These three are in series. So we will get 12 volt 1 amp DC output which is rechargeable battery. Before demonstration first of all we need to keep the battery under full charge. For that purpose connect the battery this 2 pin connector at this slot. Okay and after connection just keep this aside don't place that on any uh, part of the uh, robots and next on the power supply then we can see the red indicator red indication will show the status of the battery is charging the battery will get fully charged in a duration of 6 hours to 8 hours maximum till the duration keep the battery under charge so once the time completes you can disconnect that battery and keep the charging aside and then next is uh, let me explain in the connections wise so we have interfaced this ESP32 camera to the NAND, uh, UNO board at the receiving pin as the commands which we are going to provide to the robot through the ESP32 camera. So the commands like forward, backward, left, right movement commands will be transmitted from the ESP32 camera to the UNO board at the receiving pin. So based on the commands received it will control this robot movement. So which has the 4 DC motors. So we are using 4 DC motors of 60 RPM 12 volts DC motors. So these two are in parallel and these two are in parallel. And these four motors, these two motors like parallel so directly connection to the L293D motor driver. So the driver which is controlling the DC motors based on the trigger pulse input from the UNO board and UNO board trigger pulse will be given to the L293D based on the conditions received from the ESP32 camera. So this is the working flow and when the robot is moving in forward direction only then only it will check with the obstacle presence. So if any obstacle detects then automatically the robot will stop and that obstacle distance if it is less than 30 meters, 30 centimeters only. So about that it won't recognize, it won't uh, like do any other operation just if the obstacle is present be, uh, below the 30 centimeters then it will uh, stop the robot movements. So how this ultrasonic sensor works as it has uh, two modules one is a transmitter and another is a receiver there we can see the T and R. So transmitter will emit the ultrasonic waves any obstacle presence in front of that the surface of the obstacle will reflect those transmitted ultrasonic waves and that will be received by this receiver module. So here Uniport initially will trigger the transmitter then it start timer. Whenever the receiver signal received by this receiver module that will stop the timer. There we got the time and as we know the sound speed. So multiplying these two will get the distance of the object. So if the object distance is less than 30 centimeters stop the robot by providing the zero signal to the L293D motor driver. Same metal sensor directly it has an inductive coil whenever the like metal placed near the sensor then it will provide us the audible alert through this buzzer. So these are all about the connections and here this uh, 12 volts DC is input to the L293 motor driver as the 12 volts is the operating voltage for the DC motors. But the operating voltage for our sensors and ESP32 camera and unibody is 5 volt only. So in order to regulate that 12 volts DC to 5 volts DC we are making use of this LM2596 voltage regulator which will take 12 volts DC input and provide us the 5 volts DC output and this is the transistor board to switch on and off this laser gun. So let us see demonstration. So before on the kit as we discussed first step keep the battery under full charge and the next step is on the hotspot. So go to hotspot settings of your phone and configure the hotspot settings to Project fine and double seven without any space without any capital letter password should be one two three four five six seven eight nine AP band should be two point four gigahertz after enabling the hotspots and uh, we need to install this network analyzer application from the play store right now on the hotspot so now zero devices connected 
and when we on the power supply you can see one device is connected so you can just restart it again once only ordinary you know after one device is connected right we can see that and next options do LAN scan in this network analyzer application do the scan there we get the two IP address one is your mobile phone and there is express is the ESP32 camera IP address you can write copy and open in Google Chrome <coughs> There we can see the visuals along with robo controlling parts. So if you don't get that, just off and on the power supply to this total system, there you get the visuals directly. So we are getting this visuals and coming to the robot controlling. So if you want to control the robot forward motion, just press and hold this F button. I mean release that, it stops. Same for back and left also. So when I am moving forward, so obstacle detected, it stops automatically. Okay right and left and the right so if any metal detected while we are operating this as you can hear the buzzer also okay so let us see the demonstration on the floor yeah one more thing I forgot this laser on and headlight on okay let us see on the floor right, now you can see that So laser light on and need light on. <laughs> 